Everyone knows that Bitcoin will eventually reach its maximum supply of 21 million coins, or at least that's what everyone thinks. But will it really happen? And if so, what happens to the Bitcoin after that? The first important thing to note is that this shouldn't bother you too much. If you weren't born by 2020 and don't plan to live for at least 120 years, you won't even find out. Bitcoin is programmed to release its last coin around 2140, which is 116 years from now. But if you still want to know that, you've clicked on the right video. To understand this completely, you should know how new bitcoins are created. Bitcoin is basically a huge cryptocurrency network run by many computers. These computers are spread all around the world, which makes the network decentralized. It's like running an app like Facebook, but unlike Facebook, Bitcoin computers aren't owned by one company and aren't situated on one place. The people who own these computers are called Bitcoin miners and they receive new Bitcoins from the network in exchange for running its code. However, this reward keeps getting smaller, even though the amount of work remains the same. In 2009, miners used to get 50 Bitcoins for their work, but in 2012, this reward was halved to 25 Bitcoins. After another 4 years, this happened again and again. The latest change reduced this reward to 3.125 Bitcoins, for the same amount of work. This process is also called Bitcoin halving, and without this technology, Bitcoin would likely have been forgotten. If halving didn't exist, the supply would match the demand, and the Bitcoin chart would look more like this, or worse, demand could be much smaller than supply. With this scenario, you might not even notice that something like Bitcoin exists. So now that you know why Bitcoins aren't mined all at once, what happens after we reach the maximum supply of 21 million? Will miners keep their computers running even when they get nothing in exchange? The first big lie is that Bitcoin's supply will reach 21 million. This won't actually happen. This reverse can also be expressed in Satoshis, which is basically the smallest unit of Bitcoin. The Satoshi to Bitcoin ratio is 100 million Satoshis to 1 Bitcoin. With that said, our current Bitcoin reward is 300,000 Satoshis or around 3 Bitcoins. If you keep dividing this number by 2, after 29 iterations, you get to a number similar to 1. This is the smallest you need and it cannot be further divided because there is nothing like a half of Satoshi. The Bitcoin network also uses BitShift operators, which are essentially arithmetic operators that route the decimal points down to the closest smallest integer. So, although the supply will get very close to 21 million, it never actually reaches 21 million because the last Satoshi will always be rounded. By the way, these 29 dividing iterations represent how many halvings are left before mining the last Satoshi. But what happens after all these Bitcoins are mined? One thing is for sure, no other Bitcoins will ever be created. Everything else is just a speculation. Satoshi Nakamoto, aka creator of Bitcoin, expects the world to adopt Bitcoin by this time. Because when Bitcoin mining disappears, the only reward for miners will be transaction fees. These are the fees associated with every transaction on Bitcoin network. You definitely pay them too. And no, it's not necessary for Bitcoin to be adopted as a legal tender by this time. Bitcoin simply needs to serve as a store of value. If it does, then it's still possible for miners to profit, even with low transaction volumes and the disappearance of block reverse. However, mining fees may increase to compensate miners for their expenses. The next positive factor for miners are Bitcoin ordinals. Ordinals are a new method of creating NFTs, meme tokens and other assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. This could also increase fees for miners, ensuring they can continue running the Bitcoin network. Countries with unstable currencies are increasingly likely to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. If Bitcoin proves to be a reliable store of value, it could offer a solution to many of their economic challenges. These countries could then utilize their renewable resources to ensure the operation of the Bitcoin network. There are also programs that compensate large electricity consumers if they agree to power down their machines temporarily to balance the electricity grid. No one knows what will really happen, but one thing is clear, if Bitcoin doesn't succeed by 2140, miners will have no motivation to keep the network alive. By this time, we need to find a solution. 